Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nasrin Padasale. So in this video, we'll be discussing the answers for question that has been asked for gate Excel paper, that is specifically microbiology paper. So first question is monkeypox. It is caused by double standard DNA virus. It is an enveloped virus which belongs to a genus called orthopox virus. So it is belong to a family called poxviridae. So last year in India, we had obtained a first outbreak of this monkeypox virus. So that's the reason they had asked this particular question in the gate examination. So previous year, they'll be asking a question with regarding to coronavirus because at them there was a corona outbreak. So please, when you are Coming across any such diseases, more, uh, know more about the particular disease. Sometimes they will be asking competitive examination. Which one of the following converts sulfate to hydrogen sulfate? The correct answer is option B, D sulfuro vibrio. So both of this D sulfuro vibrio and D sulfuro maculum are responsible for converting the sulfate to hydrogen. Whereas the rest of all the three microorganisms, the thiobase, the thiotrix, they are oxidizing the sulfate to sulfate. Next, which one of the following statement about bacterial flagella is correct? Option D is correct. Flagella originate from the basal body, whereas option A is not correct because the length of the flagella will be ranging from 5 to 20 microbola. Here they have given uh, the length is wrong. So that's why it is wrong. Next, flagella are adjacent fiber with regular pattern. I don't know whether this particular option is correct or wrong because flagella, they will be having a unique pattern called 9 plus 2 pattern where there will be 9 fused microtubule outside and there will be 2 unfused microtubule inside. And the option C is also uh, is incorrect because flagella helps in conjugation like that they are a flagella helps in cell movement at the same time it is involved in chemotaxis process whereas pyre are helping conjugation so option D alone is correct next microbial plastics are made from it is made from polyhydroxy alkanoid polyhydroxy alkanoid which is short form which is called as PHA and polyhydroxy butter they are called as microbial plastics because they had originated from the microbial source so they are natural biodegradable polymers which are produced by microorganisms. So they will be generally stored in the cytoplasm as a form of water insoluble inclusion bonds. Okay. Next, the correct sequence of metabolic intermediate Krebs cycle is that uh, option C is correct. Alpha ketoglutarate, succinate, fumarate, malate. So this is a repeated question. You can find this question in CSR examination also. Sometimes in CSR or even in gate, they will be asking the structure. So acetyl CoA, oxaloacetate, citrate, isocitrate, alpha ketoglutarate, succinyl CoA, succinate, fumarate, malate. So option C is correct. Next, catabolic repression in bacteria is regulated by concentration of messenger RNA. So, it is regulated by concentration of messenger RNA of a lack of RNA. Next question is the phagocytosis was first described by, was described by L. McIntock. Okay, he was the first person who described the phagocytosis process. So, I think you will be getting confused about option E and option D, but the option E is correct. But both the uh, L. McIntock and Paul, they got a Nobel Prize for their work in immunity. So, this Paul, he was working on the hemotherapy. Okay, whereas the question was who described the phagocytosis, it was first described by McIntock. Next, which one of the following statement about the batch of microorganisms is not correct? So, first option is cells from stationary phase will show a long lattice when inoculated fresh growth medium compared to those collected from the exponential phase. It is correct because in stationary phase, the cells will be growing as stationary growth. There will be no growth because the nutrient content will be starting to decrease. Okay, so when you take the cells from stationary phase, it will be showing a longer lag phase because they need to adapt in that particular environment. Whereas, if you take the cells in exponential phase, in exponential phase, cells will be growing happily because there will be enough amount of uh, growth metabolism person will be there. So, option A is correct. But here the question is that which of the following option is not correct. Next is option B. Death phase of culture is often exponential in nature. Of course, in death phase, you can able to find there is an exponential decrease in number of living bacteria. So, okay. Option C, that is stationary phase is a cryptic growth phase. Option C is incorrect because cryptic growth phase you can identify in death phase. Cryptic growth phase means there will be hidden growth of some microorganism which you can find in the last phase that is death phase. So, option C is not correct. Okay. The last option is correct absolutely because the rate of generation of new cell during the exponential growth phase is constant. There will be a constant rate. There will be some microorganism that will be growing and dividing. So, for this question, since they are asking which of the following statement is not correct, you need to put a tick mark in C option. Next is match the following test given group 1 with application in group 2. Uh, Oakley full, pro, uh, full throat test is generally used for determining the antigen and antibody interaction. So, it is a kind of immune diffusion mechanism. Okay. Next is uh, limos, limulus amoebocyte. Sorry if I pronounce them anything wrong. Limulus amoebocyte lysate test is used for determining the bacterial endotoxin as a quality control, a quality assurance procedure for injectable drugs and medical devices. Next is wheel flex test, which is used for the rickettsial infection diagnosis. And the last is complement fixation test, which is used for IgM detection. Okay. Next is which one of the following statement is not correct about the anti antibiotic resistance mechanism in microbes. Okay. The first thing, mycoplasma is naturally resistant to penicillin due to the presence of resistant plasmid. Of course, mycoplasma are naturally resistant to penicillin, but they don't have any such kind of R plasmid with them. Instead, mycoplasma means they don't have any cell wall around them. Since it's penicillin, they are cell wall inhibitor. So that's a reason why the mycoplasma are naturally resistant to penicillin. 
So this option is correct. Okay, for this question, since they are asking which option is not correct, so option A is the correct. Thing, okay. And so if you check option B, they are correct statement because gram-negative bacteria they are impermeable since they will be having an outer membrane around them. C option is also correct. Beta lactamase of bacteria will be cleaving the penicillin because the penicillin will be having a beta lactam ring. So this particular enzyme will be cleaving that particular ring. This the option D is also correct. Selective microbes can efflux penicillin entering the cells and develop resistance. So they will be having a pumps will be there. It should be fleshing out the antibiotic. So, for, since in this question they are asking not correct statements, so option A is correct. Next, the suspension of photosynthetic green algae was eliminated in the presence of protein CO2 for a few seconds. The first metabolite in the Calvin cycle to be radio label is that for me, option D is correct, that is ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate, which will be getting the carbon dioxide molecule as a result of carbon fixation. Then it will be giving that to a to form a two or uh, three carbon intermediates of phosphoglycerate uh, glycerate okay so for this question they are asking first metabolite so ribulose one comma five bisphosphate the first metabolite of the calvin cycle to be radio label when you eliminate them with the protein co2 okay if you want to add up the correct answer please do tell me because some are saying three phosphoglycerate is correct for some are saying ribulose one comma five bisphosphate is correct but for me ribulose one comma bisphosphate is the correct option okay so the next question is that uh, determine the correctness or otherwise the following assertion and reason. So, first assertion statement is that endosport can serve heat that would rapidly kill the vegetative cells of spain species. This statement is absolutely correct. And the reason is that in endosport, the protoplasm is reduced to minimize in, to a minimum volume as a result of accumulation of calcium dipyclonic acid complex and small acid soluble protein which form the cytoplasmic gel gel at the thick cortex okay so both a and r are true and r is the correct reason for a so in the press card they have given clearly in summary endospore heat resistant is properly due to several factors like due to a presence of calcium dipyclone and there is also a presence of acid soluble protein which will be stabilized in the dna and there will be a protoplast dehydration will be there okay and at the same time they will be having a few dna repair mechanism so both a and r are true and r is the correct reason for a okay So the next question is regarding to the marrow diploids. Okay, so which one of the following conjugation will result in the formation of marrow diploids, which is also called as partial diploid? So option C is correct. Marrow diploids will be generally formed when the donor is F prime and recipient is F minus. Okay, so they don't have F factor with them. So option C is correct. Next is which of the following genus is or a spirochete? So spirochete are gram negative motile spiral shaped bacteria. So the example of genera spirochete include spirochaeta, trichoderma, borilla, leptospira. Okay, so option A is correct, option B is correct, option B is correct. Whereas if you take spirulina, they are considered as a algae. But here they are asking which of the following genus are spirochetes. So option A is correct, option B is correct, option D is correct. You should select all the three options, only then they will be giving you mark. Next is which of the following is our non-membrane bound inclusion body. Again, it is also a multiple select question. So here you can be able to find some inclusion body will be lying free in a cytoplasm. They don't have any membrane. This include polyphosphate granule, cyanophysin granule and glycogen granule. So here the question is that which of the following is a non-membrane bound. So this include option B that is cyanophysin granule and option D which is polyphosphate granule. Whereas if you take carboxysomes and poly uh, beta hydroxy butyric granule, here you can be able to see example of any Closed inclusion body include poly beta hydroxybutyric granules, glycogen granules, sulfur granules, carboxysome, and gas vacuole. They are considered as enclosed inclusion bodies, which means they will be having a shell around them. Okay. Next, which of the antibiotics is or isolated from streptomyces? It is also again from uh, again a multiple select question. So, first is gentamicin. Gentamicin is produced by a bacteria called Micromonospora purpura. So, it is no, it won't come. Next is nistatin, which is produced by streptomyces only. And polymyxin, it is produced by baseless polymyxa. And the streptocycle, which is also again produced by the streptomyces. So, here the question is that which antibiotic will be isolated from streptomycin? Show uh, option number B is correct and option number D is also correct. Both option D, B and D are correct. Next, which one of the following statement about the primary and the second adaptive immune response to antigen is not correct. First is IgM antibodies appear first in response to initial exposure to antigen. Correct statement. Second statement is the majority of antibody produced in response to second exposure of spam antigen are IgM isotope. No, when the bacteria is coming again to the body, there will be a majority amount of IgG antibody will be produced and to the lesser extent IgM will be produced. Okay. So, option Option B is not correct. Next is option C. Second exposure of same antigen stimulate the production of memory cell. Correct. A option is correct and C option is correct.
okay if you check d option primary antibody response has a shorter lactase than the secondary antibody response this option is not correct because due to the presence of memory cell that has gained in the primary response the lactase of secondary antibody response is shorter when you compare with the primary antibody response but here the statement itself wrong so for this question option a is correct and option c is correct the spontaneous and induced mutation in bacteria can be distinguished by it, it can be distinguished by fluctuation test just like Ames test and replica plating technique. So option A is correct, option B is correct. Whereas if you take uh, option C and option D, option C is this diffusion method which is generally used to determine the sensitivity of bacteria to various antibacterial antibiotic agent. Whereas used dilution test which generally employ to determine the minimal inhibitory concentration of microorganism to various antibiotic substances. Okay. So next video will be discussing the uh, discussing for geology paper and in upcoming video will be definitely discussing the NET type of question that has been asked for gate microbiology paper I need few time to solve the question that has been asked for NET okay so subscribe to my youtube channel thank you friends and for watching this video